Hey everyone, Cobalt and Mining4560 recording another video. So yeah, today giving you another news update. So um, we have a uh, recent interview from uh, Takashi Zuka from Gamescom and Kotaku's Michael McWhorter, I believe, had an interview with him. And he just asks Izuka some questions and it turns out that um, uh, Izuka has confirmed that Classic Sonic is going to lack a voice in the game and that Classic's Tales is actually going to be speaking for Sonic, Classic Sonic, on his behalf. While Modern Sonic will still have his voice from uh, Roger Craig Smith. But, um, what else is there? So, I mean, as you, I've probably said before, um, Jaleel White was one of, like the only person they would have considered to be Classic Sonic's voice actor in the game. But because, you know, he isn't, they're not going to have Classic Sonic speaking. So, it's pretty interesting. And then, uh, also, um, uh, McWhorter also talked about power ups for Classic Sonic. And he says, I asked Kazuka if classic side-scrolling Sonic would be able to enjoy the superpowers of a game like Sonic Colors or Sonic Unleashed. Would he turn into a drill or, drill or a laser or a werewolf or a werehog if he must? Could chubby Sonic use a sword in Generations? Izuka would neither confirm nor deny that classic Sonic's skills would expand beyond spin dashing and jumping, but it sure sounds like a possibility. So Izuka is being quite vague again. Um, he's probably sending mixed signals again with just how he's not explaining too much. He's kind of being secretive. But um, it does turn out that actually when um, Sonic Generations, like when the demo came out on June 19th, uh, earlier this year, um, people hacked the game and found like the confirmed level list and saw power-ups. And there was something going on about a classic Sonic Werehog transformation. So it could be possible that Classic Sonic turns into a werehog in the game. I don't know if it will be playable or not, like in the other acts, because so far from what we've seen, we've only seen acts 1 and 2 for these levels in the games. And Sega has um, Sega has said that they're supposed to be, the setup for the levels is supposed to be quite similar to uh, um, Sonic Colors, to where they're going to be 6 acts. So maybe, maybe in one of the acts, Classic Sonic or Modern Sonic turns into a werehog for once. And, you know, it's just like a quick stage to bring, like, I don't know, bad memories of the werehog. I mean, the werehog, I didn't like it. He was kind of dull a bit like dull at first but um I did like all the move sets and stuff like that and it was just pretty cool having all these flashy moves but I definitely wouldn't want the werehog in this new game to be honest so I don't know maybe it'll be humor wise to where like in a cutscene classic sonic turns into a werehog who knows we'll see I don't know but um I'll keep you all updated if I hear anything else also uh what else is there um Oh, we have a new video right here of um, Sonic Generations 3DS Mushroom Hill Zone gameplay, and it's modern stage. So this is it's the same guy who recorded the classic footage, which I had in my previous video. And the gameplay isn't great, but um, we do get to see a bit, of, like a bit more of Sonic in action, and uh, we get to see like the 3D sections a bit, like where in the beginning it kind of zooms in to Sonic, like switches the camera to where it's. Um, point it towards the front of Sonic and then zooms backwards like goes backwards behind Sonic so uh, yeah like I said there are going to be parts in Sonic Generations 3DS where in modern Sonic it'll go to 3D to show off the 3D effects and then um, it'll mostly be 2D gameplay though but sometimes it's, it'll have 3D sections so pretty interesting uh, but anyway yeah check it out then what else do I have um, here uh, I believe it. Oh yeah, um, Ubisoft has said that um, they are very pleased with um, 3DS software sales on their games, and that they've gotten eight times more sales on their 3DS games so far, because um, after the 3DS price cut, and this is for Europe. So it turns out that 3DS is selling a lot better now um, after the price cut. After all, because as we heard yesterday, there was um. Uh, what is it? The sales were, like the sales for the 3DS were a lot better, significantly better, according to GameStop. So I am really glad that the 3DS is selling a lot better. Probably won't hear any news in the U.S. until um, like in a month or so. But uh, you know, in Japan, so far I believe it sold like 214,000 um, there in a week. So that's really good. The second best selling week for the 3DS actually down there. And uh, even Star Fox 64 3D and Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D have gone to the top 20 mark in uh, 
Japan, I believe, or Japan or Europe, I can't recall. So, yeah. And then what, I'm trying to remember, there's so much news today. Uh, oh yeah, also the, P, the PS Vita has cross-game chat, while the PS3 um, doesn't, and the PS3 probably never will. So, you know, when you're playing a game with the PS Vita, you can talk to people while playing those games, like talk to another person. Well, um, with the P PS3, it's probably not going to happen, because according to Sony Worldwide Studios boss, um, Shuhi Yoshida, I believe, the Vita packs more RAM than the PS3, actually, which is why it's getting the feature, but um, the PS3 is not. And he says, the reason why we were able to include something like Party, which enables cross-game voice chat, um, is because we designed Vita so it always has enough resources to handle something like that behind the game while it's running. And that the Vita's um, confirmed RAM is 512 megabytes, and that um, it has 128 megabytes of video RAM, while the PS3 has 256 megabytes of system RAM and then 256 um, video RAM. So, yeah, I mean, so yeah, it just turns out that the PS3 is doesn't have the RAM to support cross-game chat, which is kind of funny, but, um, you know, anyway, that's pretty interesting, but, um, turns out that the PS Vita is becoming a real beast so far from what we've heard, it's pretty awesome, and, uh, speaking of PS3, as, um, you probably saw in my video, um, of my favorite video game, um, Sonic 3 & Knuckles, I did that video so that I could enter a contest to win a PS3 so that I can do a walkthrough on Sonic Generations um, for the PS3 later this year and also Uncharted 3 because that's one game I really, really want. But, um, and I'd love to do a walkthrough on later this year, but um, I just don't have the money to buy a PS3. But anyway, I'm doing this contest and it uh, turns out that these, like the people who are doing the website, mylikes.com, uh, they're kind of vague with what they, how they were explaining um, how to like get more likes and stuff like that. You actually don't just like my video on YouTube. I mean, I don't think you even have to like my video on YouTube. It's mostly about liking on mylikes.com. So that's why the person um, who has 50 likes, which was kind of confusing because my video right now there has over 70 likes and I'm still in second place for most vo highest voted game. Um, highest voted video, so I was kind of confused by that, so I checked on the channel on the website, and it turns out you actually have to go onto the website and hit the like button there. So you don't have to really sign up for anything, all you have to do is just link your, um, like you just sign in with your YouTube account or your Facebook account, and then just like it there. And um, the more likes I get, the better chances I will um, win the PS3 this year. And because I have, um, I'm getting a lot of views right now, uh, if I get more views, that will also help me um, win the PS3 more. So I'm getting a lot of views right now, but I just need the likes on, that, on the um, page. So I'll have the link in the description below. So please, I mean, I, like I said, I'm not trying to beg or anything, but I do like... I'm really trying to get this PS3 because of just how times are rough right now and I'd really love to do walkthroughs on these games and um, you know I just don't like really borrowing too many people's stuff I mean I'm really glad that my friend offered like offered to let me um, borrow his 360 but you know I just like to have something myself and then just play the game on it there so I don't have to worry about getting a 360 later or anything like that or a PS3 later so, I mean, if you like the video, I'd really, really appreciate it. All you just got to do is click on the link in the description and then just like the video. So, But yeah, I do want to thank everyone for all the outstanding support I have so far. Like, really, I was surprised that I got so many likes. I mean, it's just amazing how much support I've had so far already with the video. So I really want to thank everyone already who has liked my video on YouTube. I really appreciate that. I mean, I don't know. It's just... I don't know, it makes me happy inside, but, I mean, it kind of made my day yesterday, just think all those likes and all the support and all the great comments, but yeah. And also, um, My Likes is actually a channel, is actually a website on there that allows you to um, make money on videos, instead of like being a YouTube partner, you can actually make money on your videos if you make a video based on a topic they have on their channel, upload it there, and then it'll automatically upload it onto YouTube, and you can usually get around... Um, 
four dollars for every thousand views so I'm thinking about doing that sometime but right now I don't really have games to um, follow one of the, some of the topics they have besides the favorite video game video but uh yeah they want like Call of Duty videos and stuff like that and get like four dollars for every thousand views so if you're interested in doing that that's another thing you can do link your YouTube account to that uh, make some videos and probably earn some money without even being a YouTube partner I mean it's really awesome so I don't know, just check it out. But uh, yeah, that is basically it. Um, stay tuned later for my Sonic Generations thoughts um, and opinions on the, um, just like Sonic Generations for 360, PS3, and 3DS later today. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. So thanks for watching. Um, please remember to comment, like, subscribe. Stay tuned for more 3DS vids, walkthroughs, and updates. So, yeah, see ya. Have a good day.